Hi there, I'm John Kirstead from Art Expos Vancouver Island. I'm here to do another video. Uh, this will be a short one. We're just going to talk a little bit about the hose that we use um, because it's quite different than what a lot of other manufacturers are using. Um, we use a product called Reflex Torsion Hose. Um, I've got a sample of it. This is a one inch version of it, but you can see we use two and three eighths. We also use this three quarter inch uh, size. Um, this hose that we're using is called uh, ID, meaning it's measured based on the inside diameter rather than the outside diameter of the hose, uh, which means this fits over top of the fitting, not inside the fitting. And that's important because on a lot of spas, people don't realize when you glue the one end of the jet and this other end here gets glued down into the manifold. And as you can see, this fits up over top of that jet body and we can see, because it's a colored glue, we can see and this is a clear hose with a colored line in it, we can see how much that's been glued. Whereas if this were put inside of the fitting, if I inserted this here and then I pull the other side to ins insert it into the manifold, what happens is, is that sometimes this looks like it's really glued in there well, but there's actually nothing there. And if this moves around a little bit, Oh, all of a sudden you got yourself a leak, right? Um, so we like to put it over top so then I can see, yep, that's definitely in there and if that moves around, I don't have to worry about it. Also, there's two different materials here. You get the PVC uh, in there and then the vinyl in the outside, right? So what ends up happening is, is that if this gets pulled, it's actually like a Chinese finger trap. It actually hold on to that fitting so it doesn't fly out. Whereas with you insert, there's nothing to prevent it except for the outside surface area uh, to, to prevent it from pulling off. So we find this hose allows for more water flow um, because when you fit inside, it actually takes away from the, the, uh, the amount of water that can flow through the hose. As opposed to if you go over top, the full amount of the hose can be utilized, right? We also color code it. You notice this green hose? This is for a, um, a larger line. A lot of times with the air lines and stuff that we used in the past, um, it gets used for specific jetting uh, applications. Um, the most common hoses you'll see is this blue and red uh, in our large pipe. And you'll notice that the blue hose, we've actually got a gear clamp on here as well. Even though this is glued, we put, and, and if I pulled on this, it would, it would tighten it, we want to make extra sure. Blue is pressure side, so it's under pressure. So this can expand a little under the pressure coming from the pump. So the blue side, we always put these on. You don't need it on the red side because it's not got the pressure on it at suction side. Um, this also becomes very useful when we're uh, talking to a customer and they're trying to describe to us <laughs> over the phone what's going on, we can ask them, hey, what color is the pipe? And then we know whether we're dealing with the pressure side or we're dealing with the uh, suction side. So this, is, this pipe, this color-coded reflex torsion pipe is standard on all classics and custom series. On the uh, core series, we just use the white uh, version of it. Um, just because it does cost more to stock these different types of hose and use these different types of hose, we pay a premium for that, probably 15% uh, more than you would for standard pipe. And, and a lot of companies don't even use this type of flex pipe. They'll actually just use the same sort of vinyl we use for air. They'll use that for the water jets. Um, the reason why I don't particularly like that for water jets is um, it gets hot and the, the, this can flex down and actually crimp, especially with the larger lines with the weight of water. You know, this can hold a lot of water in it, right? Um, these lines can hold a lot of water and they get heavy. And so if this is in the jet, you know, it's inserted in the jet and the weight of the water crimps the line, then you'll, you'll get improper flow to the jetting. So this line is a lot more expensive than that vinyl um, hosing like we're using for airlines only, right? So this is just for the airline. And even ours is quite thick compared to the stuff that I, I see get used on spas. Um, the, other thing, the other thing that I think is important about the, uh, the jetting uh, is that it's easily identified and if I actually have a problem with this sometimes you know you develop small little holes in here we call snake bites that can happen over time uh, some companies will tell you oh that this shakes around and that's going to cause 
uh, this thing to leak. I'm here to tell you that first of all, you can see we actually tack in the hose with the high density foam so that the hoses don't move much. I mean, they'll move a little bit. Uh, and when you fill this up with foam, just because this is encased in foam doesn't mean it doesn't move a little. You just don't see it moving. Um, there are some companies that really make a big deal out of this and say, oh yeah, water's really heavy and they'll give you a sample of hose that they filled with ball bearings or filled it up with uh, water on its own is quite heavy and then they'll drop it and say, see how heavy that is? And it kind of pulls your arm out and say, that's what causes leaks. Well, that's not really what causes leaks. What causes leaks is the repetitive nature of movement and stuff and that's why we fix this in and I often will show people on a running spa I'll turn it on high and low and you'll see the you know the jets move or the jet lines move ever so slightly um, that's not really what causes leak what's more important is is that if I do need to repair this hose it's easy to repair if this actually inserted into a fitting then the outside of this here would be glued to the inside of that fitting. And so to remove this is not easy. I actually have to cut this here and I usually have to use some sort of reaming device to ream the hose out of there, which can pull this out of center, meaning it's not round anymore. Um, a, a little piece could still be in there. So when I put new hose in there, it may not glue right. There might still be a uh, possibility of leaking. You just don't know. Whereas with this type of hose, if I need to replace this, it's quite simple. I just cut there. I can cut this line and I can literally roll it with my pliers. I can peel it off the outside, clean up the spigot and attach a new piece of hose there without any in, uh, issues at all. That's like, and in fact, that's exactly how we uh, uh, make couplers. If we want to use a coupler, we can literally just use two inch PVC pipe for this because it's based on the interior diameter. So the interior of the pipe will fit right inside there and just use that length of pipe to connect two pieces together if we want to. Whereas normally you have to use a coupler that would fit over top like this and I put each side in there, right? So that's, that's the hose. Now it seems like a little thing, but it costs more to do it this way and it's a lot better way to do it. You end up with about 20% more flow uh, in the lines and you have something that's imminently more repairable should you ever have to repair it in the future. So that's why we use reflex torsion pipe on all of the Arctic spas that we sell, whether it's core series, classic series or custom series. And in the custom classic, we even go so far as to color code the hose so that down the road, we can uh, I easily identify uh, what system of the spa we're dealing with on the plumbing side of things. So that's your little piece of uh, knowledge uh, for today. Uh, thank you for listening to this video and please uh, subscribe and watch the rest of our videos so you can learn more about spas. And if you have any questions, feel free to direct them towards your smart friend at any one of our locations. Thank you. I'm John Kirstead from Vancouver Island Arctic Spas.